It's getting hot in here. Please don't take off your clothes. Well, guys, it seems that Stellantis is starting to acknowledge the issues that they are having with uh, the Grand Wagoneers, from safety issues to just their $115,000 explosions. This reminds me, if you're from the tech space and you remember cell phones and stuff here a few years ago, they had this Samsung phone. I think it was called the Note 7. Was it the Note 7 or Note 8? And it would just blow up just randomly, just on the plane, it would explode. Well, these uh, Grand Wagoneers engines are grenading. And uh, in one case, customers has, you know, uh, kept us in the loop with their star representative from Jeep. And um, Jeep has offered them an extended warranty over it and is acknowledging that they are having issues with thermostats, which can then cause damage to possibly the head gaskets, which are causing these brand new hurricane engines to go boom. You know, I'm gonna put the image here. The customer's had two thermostat replacements and has now grenaded an engine. Now, I don't know if the head gasket got damaged the first time it overheated or the second time it overheated, uh, but they are going to replace the engine and, and give the customer an extended warranty. So I give credit where credit is due for Stellantis and Jeep. But I also have to think about this. These issues with these $100,000 luxury SUVs wouldn't be happening if Carlos Tavares was not your CEO. The cost cutting that Carlos Tavares is doing now is causing safety concerns and shit quality across all of the brands. And that is a fact. Cutting, cutting the quality, cutting, cutting the cost that you're getting because you want to get these plastic thermostats, these, these, these other thermostats that you want to get because you can get them cheaper from this company than a proven one that you've had in the past because it's modicately, you know, like just a tiny bit cheaper. But look what you end up spending. I need the people on the board, the investor, to think about this. Think about what you're spending with Carlos Tavares as your CEO. Yeah, the, the initial numbers look great, right? $20 billion in profit. You're crushing it because he's cutting everything. Cheap products, cheap shit, and you're selling it for hundred grand. Good for you. Now it's all coming home to roost. It's all starting to do this. They're blowing left and right. And if you're on the board at Stellantis or you have any influence, you need to understand that these engine replacements you're having to do, that costs money. The money you saved on the cheaper thermostats, guess what? That shit's all gone. All the extended warranties you're having to give people with the Grand Wagoneers now and the legal costs, the lemon law cases, the buybacks, all of that crap takes away from anything you would have saved with your cost-cutting measures. So why there's so many, yay, we love Carlos Tavares. He saves us so much money. The cheap-ass materials that he's using, the cheap adhesives that are causing issues in the other Stellantis products, like cars and shit, where panels and stuff are coming apart, there's just too much crap. And this all lands at the feet of Carlos Tavares. I'm sorry. It is what it is. What do you guys think about these Grand Wagoneers blowing up left and right? Because it uh, doesn't surprise me. And it's not just the Wagoneers. It's the Hurricane Engines, period. Because I think a majority of them have defective thermostats. Don't kill the messenger. I'm just saying. Till next time, stay petty, my friends. <laughs>